Hi there, and welcome to another video of Coding with Cables. My name is Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today I'll be giving you an introduction of how to get started with creating your own basic string ops inside of Cables. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna click in the patch, press escape, and I'm gonna call my op my string up. I'm going to click this button, create ops.user.andro my string up. Editor pops up. I'm going to press escape, escape. Now I'm going to type in my string up. This now adds the op to the patch. So there's nothing there yet. So I click the op and I press E to get the editor. I'm going to get rid of this. So now I'm going to make an input port. I'm going to call it const in str. It's my shorthand version for in string. So now I'm going to make the port op.inString. Now I'm going to give the port a name. I'm going to call it string in. Okay. So I'll save it, and now I get this. And as you can see, I have a string import where I can say I'm going to input a string. So what I want to do is I want to get this string in, and I want it to come out of a string output port here. Really nice and easy. So I'm going to say const out str equals op dot out string. I'm then going to call this string out. Press control S. So we have a string out, but by default it's this. It's nothing. So we need to set something up here. So I'm going to make a function. I'm going to call it update. You could call this anything you want. And now I'm going to say out str dot set and then what I need to do is I need to get the data from this port so I'm going to say in str dot get okay I'm going to press control s let's just put a bit of space here so it's easier for you guys to see control s but nothing's happening well we need to do this when something changes with this port so I'm going to go down here I'm going to say in str dot on change equals update. So this means that when anything changes on this port, call update. Uh, as you can see, we now get this. So if I go here and make any changes, then it's updated there. So that's like the basic flow. So this get function here gets the data from that port. And you can use this with strings and with floats and integers and bools. It's a very common thing. You'll see it more in the videos. So that's the simplest thing. Let's show something else. So we can use the built-in editor inside of cables to edit strings. So I'm going to say, give me a bit of space, const, I'm going to call it in editor. That's my variable name for the port. I'm going to say op dot in string editor. And I'm going to call the port uh, editor. Press control S. And now if you look here on the op, I get this edit button here. So I'm going to go in there and type in cable. cables is Zaban. I'm going to go here and I'm going to say save. So what I want to do is I just basically want to, as you can see, I've clicked these tabs. Um, I want to add the string here to the string from the editor. Really nice and simple. So let's just show you something else you can do here. So I'm going to say... Um, var um, str0 equals in str.get. And then I'm going to say var str1 equals in editor.get. So basically I'm saying create a variable called str0 and get the data from this port, which is a string. Make another variable called str1, and I get the string from the editor. So now I can just, first of all, replace this with str0, watch. And as you can see, this port here then goes down here. So now we want to join them together, right? So nice and easy. I'm just going to say str0 plus str1. I just wanted to do this to show you how to create variables and then get the data. You could have done in str.get plus in editor.get, but when you're working with a lot of code, this can become long and tedious to type. So I just wanted to have some shorthand variable names. So now I'm going to press Control S, and we're going to look here. Nothing's happened. Well, why is this? Well, we also need to just say that 
um, when the in editor changes, um, that it also updates. So I'm also going to say here in editor dot on change equals update control s and as you can now see if i click the inspect button i get this and this can be confusing to some people at the beginning so i'm going to explain it in the simplest way possible first of all let's add a space there so i'll go here and i add a space and as you can see it's now good so what we're saying here is in str on change update is the same as in editor on change update. So you could add five or six ports here with on change and they'd all call update. That's the easiest way to explain it without going into JavaScript and programming. This all just like makes sense at one point. So this was the basics of how to create your own um, string op inside the cables. I hope this video has been educational and informative. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.